right uh, this I think is part five or six um, interview with Tommy from Belgium and uh, it's just starting to get interesting so I've uh, I've extended it one more section and um, I was saying to Tommy um, that uh, you know was, was he happy to stay anonymous because obviously you know he wouldn't want to get himself in trouble like I did and uh, Tommy started telling me a story about well he is actually he has been in trouble so can you tell us what that what actually happened when you made this circle the farmer thought that you uh, had made it how what did what did he do he said he did he man, demand your details did he sort of say who are you and get your address uh, well no um, we came uh, as visitors to the circle and the farmer came into the field and we were just the only ones there and the farmer assumed that we probably made it because we were there and the circle wasn't really visible from the road. Right. And then he contacted the uh, insurance company and then in uh, some way the insurance company got a hold of my phone number and uh, address and tried to... Uh, How did they do that? How did they, did you park your car and he got his registration or something? Mm, no, I don't think so. How on earth did they know it was you? Well, never found out. <laughs> they just, they just uh, called me. And oh. uh, I believe uh, they, were, they were asking uh, 900 euros for the damage. So the insurance company, um, contacted you first but you you then told me but it, we were off camera um, but you got uh, in trouble with the police as well so what happened there well yeah the farmer uh, wanted to uh, to yeah, to get the money and then the, uh, the police and the insurance company told them well uh, we need to um, be sure in a way you know and the they said to the farmer, well, you have to call to the police first before you, we can uh, we can ask uh, money from uh, that certain, certain person. And then um, the police uh, paid me a visit and uh, they asked me uh, like uh, questions, well, well uh, did you make a circle and, and stuff like that. And then he just uh, decided to confiscate my laptop to because they thought there was uh, evidence on that of uh, us making that circle. So, um, did did you uh, uh, admit to any of this? No, not at all. And police uh, um, said, "Well, uh, we don't have any evidence because all there is is flattened crop." Sure. Um, there were. Well, I hope I hope, I hope admi admitting this now doesn't doesn't cause any problems. But um, you know, if 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 you decide you don't want this video out there, I'll uh, I'll pull it off. But um, he's thinking now. <laughs> he's thinking. Do I do I want this video on the internet? <laughs> but. You know, you're, you're in Belgium, it should be okay. It, how long ago was it? Uh, three years back now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've probably forgotten about it now. It's a long, you know, it's opening old stuff up, isn't it? You know, they tend to forget about things after a while. But um, no, I mean, it's fascinating. Uh, the police, did they arrest you? No, no they didn't arrest me. They just. Uh came to ask me some questions and confiscated my laptop for eight months and they... But how could uh, they confiscate your laptop without arresting you and... I, I don't understand, I mean obviously they can but you know... How? <laughs> Surely you know in this country you'd have to... they'd have had to have arrested you and um, said you were under suspicion and and this sort of thing. I, 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 did, I thought they would have had to have arrested you to, to take your stuff. Well, I was under suspicion, and that's uh, why the reason he took my laptop, and he thought uh, he would find some evidence uh, that we did uh, make circles. Did you but get the laptop back okay? I got the laptop back okay, but after eight months, which is pretty long time. Mm. What were the police like with you? Were they okay, or were they nasty? Mm, they were quite nasty, yeah. Really? 
Yeah. Yeah, well, I had a bit of that too. Well, yeah. uh, we know you did it, and uh, but apart from that, we didn't find any evidence. Not one diagram, not one uh, stump aboard, not one rope, not anything. Did you ever consider stopping after that? Did you think you got away lucky, or, or you know, obviously, what did you think? Did you cat what just want to carry on straight away, or did it take you a while before you built up a bit of courage again? No, I never thought about stopping because um, they don't really never have evidence because they really have to caught you in, uh, in the act. So. Mm. That's very interesting, and um, so obviously the farmer never got his money, and the insurance company didn't either. Then, no. Mm. Well, close call there. Eh? I mean, I'm very interested how they, uh, how the hell did they find out who you were? That's bizarre. It's really bizarre. I mean, you know, do you live in the area? Could you be recognised? No, not at all. How bizarre! And you, you well, most, most likely to the press, I guess, maybe. Because you'd done stuff in the press talking about circles. Well, there were a couple of articles uh, years before that because I was quite known as a so-called researchers, uh, researchers in the beginning. Right. And then you kind of yeah. started saying that you thought it was more man-made, and then you think maybe people thought, ah, you know, maybe he's doing them, and connected you with it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Well, I I don't know if this is a story that anybody's ever heard, so uh, that's definitely uh, an exclusive for YouTube. So thanks for that. Yeah, you must welcome. Just hope it doesn't get you in any trouble. Well, <laughs> we can only about hope. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just have to bleep out bits of this video so that uh, you don't get in any trouble then. Nope. Yes. So, um, okay. Well, thanks very much. Um, unless you got, have you got anything else you wanted to add? I mean, uh, about the circles or anything you feel. Well, maybe the only thing I have to say, um, expect more circles next time. <laughs> Watch out, because he's he's gonna come back to a field to a field near you soon. Yep. Exactly. Watch out, Belgium. Tommy's back, <laughs> and he's not afraid of the police. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Good. <laughs> You can always come to the UK and, uh, you know, we'll look after you if uh, they start chasing you. After all, we're not doing anything wrong, we're just opening people's minds. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's not a lot of damage really, is it? I mean, when you consider how much the, the crop is worth. Well, I mean, 900 euros, that's like uh, 1,200 pounds. Mm, a bit less, isn't it, I think? Maybe about 850 pounds. But you know, yeah. But that's a lot of money, and the the crop probably isn't worth that much. You know, the crop is is not worth that much at all, unless it was a very very specialized, expensive crop for a specific reason. But I mean, was it just normal crop? Um, just normal, yeah, normal crop. Mm. So I mean, you're doing average size circles. I mean, you know, you're talking about like twenty pounds, twenty pounds to eighty pounds worth of crop, probably. So to charge to want to charge you that massive amount. It was like with me in my court case, you know, it's obviously uh, they said no, you know, it, you, you've got no justification to say that it costs that much, so they didn't award the farmer anything. Well, hmm. it was that, uh, that it wasn't really about the damage uh, in the end. Uh, it was clear that the farmer was just chasing after a large amount of money. Right, yeah. Well, very interesting. Okay, we're just about to wrap this up. So, thanks to Tommy from Belgium. We might speak to you again in the future. If you think of anything more that uh, you want to have a chat to us about, please get in touch. And um, you know, you never know if you're watching this on YouTube and you're a circle maker from Europe or the USA and you want to have a chat and uh, uh, be anonymous, then come on my channel. So, 